Hey guys, Luke HD here, and we have a ton of really amazing news to share today with Tales of Tenorio, some new features, a new devlog, and just a whole bunch of awesomeness. If you guys do enjoy this video, go down there, like, subscribe, and let's get straight into it. So yes, I am coming at you with this video from the Tales of Tenorio dev server, uh, because obviously I help work on the game, but we're gonna basically be going over this new devlog. It's super exciting. If you want any, you know, news on Tales of Tenorio and all that stuff, make sure you follow our Twitter, make sure you join our Discord for all of the latest news, which is, you know, where this devlog was in fact posted. Speaking of devlog, let's just get straight into it. So first things first, mounts. Tobia says, you've seen this a lot recently, but most of you think it's only for speeding up travel. What if I told you that it can do more than that? Each mount can use a charge ability that can unlock new areas by clearing obstacles in front of it, but this is only unlocked after a certain story threshold. Mounts will be obtainable before then. If you have a shiny in your party or an alternative form of the Tenorian, that Tenorian will become the Tenorian U mount. So basically kind of the same thing as like Lumion Legacy when it comes to the gleaming mounts and the reskin mounts and all that stuff. Again, same principle here. Mounts are super fun to use. Obviously, all you need to do is have the mount and just double tap shift right here and it will put you straight onto the mount. Now, mounts are pretty fast. As you can see right here, you know, flying around and all that stuff. Yeah, they're, they're pretty fast, so, you know, getting from point A to point B with mounts is definitely really, really fun. Matter of fact, actually, here, one second, let me just wait till it turns day so you can see it better. All right, here we go. Now that it's daytime, obviously, as you can see, you know, looks very, very beautiful. Look at this, this beautiful pirate, you know, glistening in the light right here. But yeah, this is basically mounts. Now let's obviously, you know, get on to more of the devlog. Next up, we have ruptures. Ruptures are finally getting the reveal after months of planning and tweaking the concept and coding ouch it's here considered a mix of pokemon raids totem battles and custom tales of tenorio stuff each rupture allows up to four players to join if not filled by real players npcs will join the host of the rupture first to join will have the ability to invite other players who meet their requirements from anywhere in the game players can also join without an invite if they're in the area of that current rupture only one tenorian can be brought from your party to fight within the rupture but make sure you take care in your selection as these rupture tenorians are buffed in nearly every aspect. When a player leaves, they will also be replaced by an NPC. Alrighty, so this is a rupture right next to me, and ruptures have different star levels. Different star levels have different, you know, kind of difficulties, essentially. Now, what are these difficulties and what do they entail? Well, one to three stars will only have HP scaling as well as level scaling. So the overall HP is going to be a lot more as well as the level. So, you know, the level brings upon, you know, more attack and all that stuff. Just, again, like you're fighting a higher level Tenorian. However, when you get to four stars, the boss will actually start to summon ally Tenorian to help fight with it. Five stars means more effects upon hitting HP milestones. So basically, you know, when you get to a certain HP milestone, like, you know, one third of its HP left, it'll do something, okay? It, it'll do something. I don't know if I can say right now, but it, it'll do something, okay? Uh, six stars plus can get guardian reversion. So the Tenorian that you're fighting can actually guardian revert. Yes, you heard that right. And then seven stars, which are mainly for events and stuff like that, have custom properties. AI, stats, guardian, can catch, slash not etc so you'll actually be able to capture some of these boss tenorians now in concept these ruptures are pretty similar to sword and shields raid system which in my personal opinion i actually thought was really really fun and again is the you know entire basis for a lot of this right uh just obviously you know with our own flavor added to it so right here as you can start to see though it says actions there are currently two main actions and two more that can be unlocked in the future these are cheering which you know you might remember from sword and shield and it says it can give a random boost to your ally or yourself and then also scourge which can find something that can clear effects, revive a Tenorian, or heal. So again, these are just going to be things that you can do either while you're knocked out or just during the battle in general. Next up, we have spawning. Ruptures can happen every 10 minutes in a server with a maximum of four at a time, exclusively for release. Whenever a rupture spawns, an alert will appear in the chat. Ruptures cannot despawn without being battled. Now, you might be wondering, what on earth could you even get from these ruptures, okay? You know, what, what type of rewards could you get? Well, it says right here that, as seen from past teasers and devlogs, there are numerous miscellaneous items which seem fairly random. Items like XP cubes, berries, effort slash unique stat items, mounts, essence stones, and so much more. Rewards will scale with stars. So, basically, the more difficult that, you know, a rupture is, the more loot and better loot that you will actually get from it is. 
Now, some more interesting things right here is max turns. When you are fighting, you are limited to 25 turns. Otherwise, it is considered a loss and you are kicked out of the rupture. Now, 25 might seem like a very small amount, okay? But, you know, with the entire thing, it actually is pretty fair. And it allows you to kind of strategize more as to how you can actually take this thing down quicker. Again, you know, it is a pretty fun system. Trust me, take my word for it, okay? And, you know, from what I've tested, it is pretty fair. Now, finishing off the devlog we have some post release updates the first of which being pvp and with the pvp update you are going to be seeing ranked battles 1v1s 2v2s and doubles 2v2s and doubles by the way are two different things okay uh and then the showdown-esque system and battle shop now if you're curious about the showdown-esque system essentially how our pvp is going to work is that there's going to be like little to no prep time essentially you're going to gain what's called familiarity with a tenorian and that will allow you to spawn a tenorian in inside of the PvP area and basically mess around with it and use it inside of that area. You can edit, you know, what moves it has, you can edit, you know, its EVs and all that stuff, just like Pokemon Showdown, okay? That is literally what it's gonna be, but inside Tales of Tenorio. Next, we have Trading Plus, which trading is going to be on release. This is just an addition to it. Cross server post system, more trading slots, and trading items as well as money. Next up, obviously, fishing, several new Tenorians, new items, dungeons, multiplayer puzzles and battles for a new type of Tenorian, more weather, new weather with new evolutions and Tenorians, and maybe some custom events, quality of life, changing and adding a bunch of features to improve the average player experience, breeding, full-fledged breeding system, as well as apartments, Tonokan decorations, and crafting. So yeah guys, that concludes obviously all of the devlog. We have a couple more screenshots to share with you guys right here. Uh, these are all of the different level types of the raids. So again, you have like the red, the green, the yellow, this like rainbowy kind of one, and you know, a couple little examples of some of the raids. You have a one star raid, two star, three star, as well as a seven star raid, and obviously, they have a different look for each. We also have this screenshot right here of inside of a raid with Topia showing this, you know, kind of screenshot against a Dynastigun. And yeah, again, a really, really cool scene right here. But yeah, Topia also included this image right here of him riding around on this Tenorian right here. This is one of the uh, little star Tenorians. I made this one like, God, forever ago. And I thought, you know, wouldn't it be a funny idea if we kind of made a little Kirby reference where you know how Kirby rides around on the star and stuff like that, you know, the little spinning star. It's essentially the same thing, okay? And a lot of people actually think that no temp uh, is the, you know, Tales of Tenorio Kirby reference, but no. It's it's actually not a Kirby reference. So here we go. This is the first ever canonical Kirby reference you got here But anyways guys, let me know your thoughts about all this down in the comments below Are you excited for ruptures me personally? I cannot wait to run up some ruptures with you guys Okay, this is definitely gonna be super super fun But yeah again, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace